hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc i am back with yet another perfume tray video if you guys have not yet seen you know my first perfume tray video i'm just gonna pop the playlist tag a card to the top of this video so you guys can check out my very first perfume tray video but recently i decided to start doing a weekly perfume rotation where i set out a tray of fragrances and you guys obviously help me pick them and then you know at the end of the week or should i say the start of the next week i tell you guys how i feel about the fragrances whether or not i actually stick to my perfume tray and all the fragrances that i set out to wear i just get let you guys know my thoughts and i'm gonna be selecting my perfume tray for next week so if you guys are interested in chopping it up with me and selecting my fragrances for next week, then by all means, keep on watching. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. So let's just get right into it because once again, I am late. You guys, I do apologize. I am so horrible when it comes to like, you know, getting that video out on Mondays, but... You guys are getting that video nonetheless, so I'm happy that I'm sticking to it. So this right here is last week's perfume tray. How did I do this week? I mean, how did I do last week? Did I manage to wear all my fragrances? And which ones, um, yeah, I didn't get to wear. So let's just say, oh, first of all, let me just tell you guys about this baby right here. Because I wore this baby and she performed. Let me tell you, I'm going to have to start to do a start of the week fragrance because this perfume right in here, Ellie Saab Girl of Now, this was the star of this week, you guys. This baby projected like crazy and I could smell this perfume on me all day. Like what I mean, all day. I took a shower like what time? After nine o'clock the morning and I didn't come home until like after six or seven and I took a shower at around 11 o'clock the night or after 11 because I am a late nighter you guys I took my shower like after 11 o'clock that night and that baby was still on me like it was still projecting okay listen it wasn't subdued it wasn't like oh yeah what's that scent that I'm washing off like you know, you know when you take a shower and you have a fragrance on and you smell the fragrance washing off of you in the shower? No, it wasn't like that. The shirt that I took off had the scent like so strong, like striking. And I could smell most of the lemons. I think there's some lemons in the opening. Lemon, black currant. There's a few no fruity notes in the opening, but I got a lot of lemons and like a slight black currant essence, but mostly like a lemony vibe. But it's like a sweet, a little bit sharp fruity vibe i got that all day and when i was in my part in the car with my partner he said to me what perfume are you wearing i was like ellie saab god of no that baby is performing let me tell you i was very impressed with this fragrance for this week you guys so ellie saab god of no forever was the superstar for this week and i think i'm gonna have a fragrance a superstar fragrance every single week because i think this perfume it dissolves quite a lot of praise this little gem right here so i actually got to wear that one okay now let me just first of all let me pull out the fragrances i didn't get a chance to wear chanel number no. five law i didn't get to wear this one and um, rare tiffany afnan i didn't get to wear this one either oh yes and Nicki minaj i didn't get to wear this one either okay uh which leaves me with these babies right here so i wore every single fragrance out of these perfumes for this week um i wore this perfume right here this is of course the um the la rose the uh, the lighter version of delina and i much prefer this one if i have not mentioned to that mentioned that to you guys before it's just a more fresher sophisticated light it is not very sweet at all okay they've kind of stripped down the fragrance entirely but they've left somewhat of the body when i say the body i should say the shell of delina and it, what we have is like a fresh eerie lightly citrusy sophisticated unsweetened rose fragrance and i love it what i love most is just 
the the feel of the perfume it smells just so classy there is a sophistication to this scent that i am absolutely in love with the scent itself doesn't really drive me crazy but it's just that feel there is something in this fragrance that just smells so sophisticated when it comes for lasting this perfume you spray it on it doesn't slip away right away but it comes quite it it, it wears quite close to the skin and i it has decent longevity i would say it's on you for at least six hours but it's not projecting but you can um somewhat feel the presence of the fragrance you know when you spray a perfume on you and it's just gone it's just like completely gone and you have no scent on you that's not the case with this fragrance i do smell this perfume but it's like very moderate very very moderate you know that kind of way and of, of course because of how the fragrance is made without you know just um the dewy essence of the main notes from the lena you're pretty much just getting that when you wear the scent so there's nothing really prominent or sharp that's jumping out at you so to speak so the lena la rose it's a beautiful very simplistic fragrance that i, I quite love this baby right here got me some compliments my guy loved this perfume i think it's a soft sweet peony um he loves this perfume on me you guys and this is an absolute pleasure to wear it's, it's just a soft simple pretty fruity floral fragrance with some peonies jasmine there's some pomegranate some lemons in the opening you'll get a sharp pomegranate essence like you know what you normally get when you hear the note pomegranate in fragrances it's soft it's mellow it's sweet it's florally and very soft so my partner absolutely loved this fragrance on me so this is a, you know this can come into a close second place for the star of the week fragrances <laughs> okay so miss dior absolutely blooming um she didn't shine much but she was quite beautiful you know this fragrance is uh, it's not understated but it blends in it is not a major projector at all if i could be honest it's present but i would say it definitely lasted on my skin but it wasn't a fragrance that kind of jumped out at you or stood out so to speak the tangy berries in here so didn't really shine that much i don't know but the present you know the fragrance was there the body of the perfume without the opening notes lingered on my skin on uh, my clothing didn't really stand out that much prada i actually wore prada because i just wanted to like you know obviously give her a wear um so prada is a citrusy fresh florally soapy clean scent um this didn't really shine that much this week either to be honest I, it went on and it was on my skin and oh oh right right oh okay so i wore i put this on i took a shower went downstairs i think it was in the night time yeah in the night time so i wore this in the night time actually wore it to bed i didn't wear it out so but anyhow so i wore it period um i took a shower i walked downstairs and my partner said you babe and i was like yeah i was like why he was like you smell like you babe now i don't know if i was if i was just smelling fresh and clean uh prada just made me smell even more fresher and clean you guys so he was like you smell like you babe i'm not quite sure how people you know when you just bathe how you smell i don't really wear like strong you know like how guys just smell when they wear when they bathe like fresh deodorant or whatever i don't think my deodorant is that loud so i would like to say that perhaps he smelled that soapy fresh clean cleanliness of this scent on me that's all i could think of so that's my experience with product this week if you want to call that a compliment so to speak i don't know okay so that's prada mongolen i oh yeah 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 oh my god how could i forget right so these two babies that i have to the side obviously i picked out eden juicy apple to be worn for this week and i wore it on a date night you guys so so these two fragrances right here i actually wore them on a date night you guys hence why they're right here to the side now eden juicy apple one this is a beautiful you know you know how pretty she is a fruity red apple syrupy juicy sweet um raspberry blueberries fruity smelling fragrance such a pretty scent and of course i was going on a date and i was like you know what i want to layer um these two together and i did and my partner was like yeah i love the smell of these fragrances 
So my my partner is actually a fan of Kylie perfumes. And through the night when we went out, he said, I can smell your perfume, but it's very faint, which, you know, we know. I couldn't smell this one, but I know the sweetness of this one will linger. Um, a very faint essence of this one lingered on my clothing, okay? And when I last wore this one, I actually wore it. I actually... I actually layered Olympia Intense with Vanilla 28 a while back. And this combination was very strong, very sweet, and very overpowering. So I've learned from that time that if I wear this, I actually sprayed it lower down. Like on my body and on the clothing that I'm wearing, on the lower area. Because potentially this can be quite sweet. And because I know I was layering it with these two, I thought that it would complement each other quite well. And it did because, again, I got me some compliments. So this was my date night combo for this week. Not, not you, just these. Yeah, so this was actually my date night combo and they were absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's that. Obviously, this one was not included on my perfume tray. Uh, for last week but yeah you know and mangalen you know what i can't remember if i wore mangalen you know what you guys i can't remember i mean how long is a week right <laughs> oh mangalen how did i did i wear you this week you know what you guys i can't remember um whether or not i wore mangalen but then again i don't think i i mean i, I feel like i did i remember spraying myself with it but i just can't remember i think i wore this at the beginning of the week to be honest actually yes 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 okay perfect i did wear my man golen you guys i did oh my god what am i thinking and i could i could probably see you guys in the comment section and be like come on adrian a week in that long but i feel like it was a really long week i don't know what happened this week i feel like it was a long week I don't know why, but I do feel like it was a long week. So I wore this in the beginning of the week, which is why I probably can't remember that I, when I wore it. Um, this is not a big projector. It is sweet, pleasant, very gaudy. I went very heavy when I sprayed it because, um, you know, this is a sweet, citrusy, lavender, vanilla fragrance. It is airy. It is bright. It has a nice sweet vanilla essence to it, but it's very bright. It's very citrusy. It's quite eerie. So I wore it. It didn't project like crazy. Okay, it didn't project like crazy, but it was on me. Now, I have worn this in the past, and when I oversprayed on me, it was a little bit too client. I did, however, notice that when I wore it this week, it didn't give me the same effect. Okay, I do spray on my skin when I'm wearing my fragrances, and then once I put my clothes on, I spray it on my clothes as well. Yeah, but I definitely smelled, I, I smelt it, but it wasn't that strong, I would say. It was very, very moderate. You know when i wore this one in particular but you can feel you can smell the presence of the fragrance while i wore it so that's how i did this week and you know what um i think i'm gonna stick with these three for this week because i look forward to actually playing with Nicki minaj perfume rare tiffany is always a pleasure to wear and i want to why not i want to play with my chanel number five law i definitely want to wear that one so i'm going to keep these three let me just take them out of my these ones out of my tray. Hello. Out you go. Out you go. Out you go. So I'm going to put back these three fragrances. Uh, these three fragrances to be worn for this week. Yes. Yep, so I'm going to put these three to be one for this week. And once again, I'm going to select seven more fragrances from my collection to be worn for this week. So, once again, if you guys are interested in seeing, uh, helping me select my, you know, fragrances for the rest of the week, then keep on watching. All right, so here we are, you guys. I'm just going to be selecting seven fragrances for this week. And you guys are going to pick them for me. Well, pick them with me. And once again, there's a little bit of empty spaces because I still have a few fragrances laid out to the side. 
to give you guys which i should have already recorded but yeah. so as per usual starting off with my carolina herrera section i'm still not in the mood for carolina herrera this week so we're gonna just keep put her on pause for now then we're gonna go over to the red section and don't mind my bracelet right here it's been you know it's probably safer there because my daughter does have a field trip through all my stuff okay i don't feel like wearing anything from the red section today either so we're gonna do the red section but my lovely dear section you guys so i'm gonna start off with this one so i recently acquired this fragrance from christian dior because if you guys know christian dior is my favorite perfume brand and i would like to collect as much of the private collection as my pocket possibly can okay <laughs> but i still would like to collect as much of them as possible so i recently saw this one on from abby with love channel and i was intrigued i was intrigued number one and number two it's being discontinued so i was like i need to have it right of course right oh god i fell for it right i was like i need to have it because again i want to collect them and i want it in my collection and of course abby approves of it she says it loves it's lovely so I definitely trust Abby's, you know, thoughts on fragrances because we definitely have a lot in common when it comes to perfume. Definitely. Okay. So a Belle de Jour, um, to put it quite short, I have to put it on because the bottle is so heavy. Okay. To put it quite short, this is a sparkling, sweet, a juicy, sweet, fizzy pear fragrance. It smells very sparkling, very clean and i literally just got it today so i've only tested it out today and i'm actually planning on giving you guys um i want to do like 10 days of hidden gems from the dior private perfume collection i want to get a few of the dior fragrances and i noticed that there are a lot of them that people are talk that people don't talk about everybody has ambre nuit and everybody has Gris dior and i love those fragrances but i'm not gonna get them just yet because i love those fragrances because they're lovable fragrances but they're not scents from the brand that i've seen and just felt like hey i love it i need to have it so there are quite a few fragrances on my list that i want to add to my collection a lot of them that's not widely talked about and i want to review at least six of them if i can get my hands on them six if not ten of them and let you guys know my thoughts because i personally think that dior is a very solid i mean it is one of the best perfume brands you know period period okay and i'm very 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 impressed again hence the brand being my, my most favorite perfume brand but i want to explore a lot of fragrances that you don't see in store and that a lot of people don't talk about so that's my plan for this spring and summer you know so belle de jour i'm gonna be wearing this fragrance for this week i'm gonna test it out i've heard good reviews um obviously there's always mixed reviews but mostly good reviews okay but there's always some mixed reviews with this fragrance okay again i i've got it today i sprayed it on today i'm gonna play with it a little bit more for this week i think it's a very good idea to add it to my tree for this week so i can play with this scent a lot more and see how i feel and another fragrance that i want to try out as well is eden rock from christian dior and this is i think this is the newest release on the brand no it's one of the newest releases vanilla, vanilla diorama is the newest release so eden rock it is said to be holiday in a bottle okay somewhat of a citrusy tropical salty fresh airy scent which doesn't last apparently okay which smells meh, apparently. Which smells basic, apparently. Which not which which is which is not worth the coins, apparently. Okay, and I actually went in store and I asked the um one of the sales um personnels to tell me about it, and he described it as a bottle of salt. Yeah, he said, "Picture yourself just laying floating on the beach, sunbathing, salty skin." And I was like, what? Okay. However, I did get myself a sample with Belle du Jour. 
and i really wanted it because i want to smell it because hello if you know me i'm an island girl i'm a sunshine girl if y'all tell me this is holiday in a bottle i'm here for it and let me just say i love this perfume okay i love this fragrance you guys so far i absolutely love this perfume there's a, a sharp somewhat of a lemony um, note that comes out here this perfume is salty but not salty like vanilla vibes it's not salty like um, it's not even as salty as olympia intense it's not that salty to me it's more like a skin like essence but obviously you know there's sweat on a person's on a human being's skin so instead it smells like um it's salty skin so to speak but it's 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 not just salty skin it's actually a little bit sweet it has some lemon essence to it i don't know the notes because I, I you know i don't have the notes just yet i didn't look them up but it smells like citrusy um a little bit salty skin it's a little bit sweet surprisingly um i don't get coconut but it definitely smells like a holiday you guys and i let my partner smell it and he actually liked it as well and he's not that enthused like me when it comes to fragrances but i said to him they said this perfume doesn't last but i love this perfume and he was like but if it doesn't last then it doesn't make sense to get it yeah but i was like i love this perfume it smells really good so i'm gonna test it out and try it out and throughout the day i let him smell it on my hand and he didn't really like i said i got it today he didn't really vibe with it because he was like but it smells too light if it smells too light then that doesn't make sense but just pump the brakes you guys okay i'm gonna wear this fragrance for this week okay i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna dab this baby all over me okay and i'm gonna tell you guys how i feel and i'm gonna give you, I'm, a, I'm gonna give you guys a quick spoiler alert okay this perfume is a little bit faint it's light and airy but the way i feel about this scent it already on my shelf to be honest <laughs> I'm gonna play with it and i'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts you know i'm always giving you my honest thoughts whether or not whether or not it's worth having your collection i'm gonna review it you know all together but this bit right here shoot this 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 already mine it's already mine so that's dior belle de jour and eden rock so moving along from dior over to this section right here my black and white section um i'm not wearing anything from this section this week not wearing anything so over to this one my purple and blue section i'm not wearing anything from this section this week either okay good moving along over here oh let's concentrate on this section this week so first things first rose elixir from Montel. now i i do neglect these fragrances and my excuse it's the bottle okay now, this is a beautiful scent. This is a citrusy, musky, fruity, strawberry, rose scent. It has the essence of green leaf. A slight green essence, but it smells like sweet, sugary, sweet, musky strawberries. With a lightly florally essence to it. This is a pretty scent. It's a beautiful fragrance, okay? It's beautiful, but it's quite citrusy and sharp. I like it. I like the perfume. I like the scent. I definitely do like the scent. It's quite playful, quite chic. It does last long. It projects like crazy. And it's quite sweet, actually. It's a beautiful scent. But maybe it's a bottle. It's definitely the bottle. But we're going to bring them out this week because they deserve, they definitely deserve some love. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be wearing this one for this week. So that's Rose Elixir by Montel. Okay. Ooh. Next, I'm going to wear Rose's Must because why not? You guys, let me tell you something, right? I'm really into rose as of this for, as of lately like i don't know why but i've been craving a lot of rose scents i'm really into rose fragrances right now like not like i don't even know what all um rosy scents smell like because i know a lot of people make that reference i don't know what all rose scents smell like but this is a modern fresh citrusy musky floral rose fragrance okay beautiful scent it is different from Rose's Elixir because Rose Elixir has a strawberry essence, but a cold, sharp strawberry essence with a, um, a green touch to it. This one is just like a fresh, eerie, sweet, musky rose. A sugary, sweet, musky rose, pretty much. Not as citrusy as the other one, in my opinion. It's a beautiful scent. It's a really nice fragrance. I do love the color of this bottle, but the bottle itself just doesn't really get me much. 
I'm going to wear these because they deserve some love, you know. I'm going to wear these for this week. So that's Roses Must by Montel. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to be wearing Kylie's Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper because why not? I just feel like wearing it, okay? So this is a spicy um, rose musky patchouli fragrance. A Right. Definitely a spicy um very prominent patchouli rosy scent in my opinion this fragrance smells quite um it smells middle eastern ish okay so this is not a very airy rose scent it's very spicy very musky um i want to say it comes off a little bit woody even in my opinion there are some woody touches i would say in this perfume and a slight bit of metallic vibe to it but it's a very you know um patchouli dominant so to speak musky rose scent this is a really beautiful fragrance you guys again it's very heavy on the oriental you know vibes or presence to it but i love it all the more it's quite strong very present um it projects like crazy i haven't worn this fragrance in a long time okay i haven't so yeah why not right i feel like wearing it so i'm gonna wear it this week because yeah it's still quite cold right now, but this perfume can be worn all year round, yeah? This is like date night, you know, like a summer's night or spring night out, yeah? And I feel like I kind of forget this because I recently did a video. I recently did a video about um spring nights out and I forgot about this perfume. Like, I literally forgot about this fragrance. Like, I can't believe it. So, yeah, I haven't worn this fragrance in a very long time, so I'm going to be wearing it this week. So, that's Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Okay. So, what else I'm going to be wearing this week? Notice I'm concentrating on this area because my beloved Lanta Deed by Givenchy is so severely neglected. If this was a child or a human being, I don't know, it would have run away or something, okay? <laughs> so, Lanta Deed is that, um, is a light, lightly floral, strong, woody, a little bit earthy essence, Okay very prominent bergamot jasmine tuberose woody earthy essence that i have not worn in ages this deserves some love oh god marcy the bottle look fresh like it never went one <laughs> this fragrance deserves some love so i'm definitely gonna wear this fragrance um uh, right now while it's still a little bit cold and that woody essence in the base isn't too too much okay I do think this has the potential to be a little bit much in the daytime, but right now it's cold. I think it would be a bit heavy. I don't know. Perhaps it's quite an airy scent, very airy and bright fragrance. Again, I haven't worn it in a long time, but it's definitely, I need to show you some love. So I'm going to wear it, play with it a little bit more. You know, the, the spray and I'll probably a little stick from, you know, not being sworn. Let me just spray this with you. Oh no oh no you guys i just sprayed this baby and it kind of reminds i mean i i didn't forget what it smelled like but a nice sweet jasmine a nice warm sweet citrusy airy jasmine scent just came off you guys i didn't realize how much this perfume reminds me of my way intense by germany like seriously i did not realize how much this perfume reminds me of my way intense by jaji armani but anyhow this is beautiful you guys and this again this is exactly why i love doing these weekly trays i forgot how beautiful this fragrance is i forgot how it smells and oh my god it's so lovely it's so nice especially um seen as though i recently smelled what my way intense and i actually wanted to get on my list i actually wanted to add it to my collection but i've been contemplating so i'm glad that i have something quite quite close not quite sure if that's going to discourage me from getting my way intense because i really love that perfume it's a really beautiful scent surprisingly and i smelled it a long time ago and i didn't like it it wasn't nothing and all of a sudden it smells so good but lanta di Givenchy is definitely giving me my way intense vibes not that i needed something else to you know make me interested and uh, make me like this fragrance even more i do love the scent but it's just a fragrance that i tend to overlook for some strange reason because it's not very playful it's not fruit it's not very um you know fruity it's a very like mature you know um 
sophisticated scent in my opinion that you know i would wear i would resolve to wear in certain environments so that's why this fragrance tend to get you know kind of forgotten in my opinion so this is a fragrance that you have to wear out in my opinion so lanta di Givenchy, glad to bring this baby out so that's it for the pink section i don't want to wear anything else from there but on to this section right here which i have been avoiding for quite some time i'm gonna bring this baby out right here Woo gold ooze and this for me is a citrusy rimy lemon zesty mandarin orange powdery a little bit vanilla -y, oody smelling perfume oh my god look at the color so beautiful this is it's now don't you know get scared of how it smells there is a sharp rimy essence but it's more like an orange rime essence to it um with oud that's pretty much what you get citrusy rimy orange essence with oud this is actually quite sexy it's sweet and it's powdery okay it's sweet and it's powdery it's strong but not overbearing not too overpowering it's quite nice and it wears quite beautifully on the skin i'm gonna bring this baby out and i'm gonna dance i'm gonna just bask in this scent so yeah i haven't worn this one in a very 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 long time as well so i'm very happy to bring this one out so yeah gold oud by mancera paris is gonna be on my tray for this week okay so here we have it so far let's just rearrange for a hot minute here so we're gonna put this baby right here we're gonna put you in the center actually we're gonna put you guys here so i think i'm gonna put you here and you right here do i like that no nope. wait a minute move you here and put you here come see comes up oh no we gotta put you in here okay 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 this is good yes okay so this is my tray for this week two four six eight ten so this is my tray for this week quite a bizarre select of fragrances i would say these aren't going in any spe um, you know, specific color. They're kind of like just random pieces, you know, of my um, collection, I would say. But I look forward to wearing every single one of them. Wait a minute. This is like, you're not looking very pretty right here. I think I like it that way. Mm, not really, but I know. <laughs> okay, just had to quickly rearrange one or two of them again. But yes, you guys, so this is my tray for this week. I look forward to wearing every single one of these fragrances. I'm particularly excited about wearing this one because I haven't worn it in such a long time. And I sprayed it on my hand just a while ago. And my God, it smells so good. It smells so, 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 so good. So yeah, I can't wait, you know, to play with these perfumes. Some of the ones that I have not sprayed in a long time. And kind of like just reignite the flame that I have for my beautiful fragrances, you guys so there you have this it. is my tray for this week i do hope you guys enjoyed you know selecting my fragrances on my weekly fragrances if in fact you did and you made it to the end please give me a big thumbs up if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me I truly appreciate your support and until next time, see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>